Hello everyone. Today we will learn in detail about medulla oblongata. Medulla is the upward continuation of the spinal cord. In Latin, medulla means middle and oblong means elongated. It consists of two parts, the upper open part and the lower closed part. It has three levels. From below upwards, the pyramidal or the motor decussation, the sensory decussation and the upper mid olivary level. It mainly has blood supply from four arteries, the vertebral arteries, the anterior and posterior spinal arteries, the basilar artery and the anterior and posterior inferior cerebellar arteries. Two syndromes are associated with medullary lesions. They are the medial and the lateral medullary syndromes. External features. The last four cranial nerves arise from the medulla. It has two symmetrical halves, the right and the left halves, which are separated by two fissures. The anteriorly, the anterior median fissure separates and posteriorly, the posterior median fissure separates the medulla into two equal halves, the right and the left half. The upper part of the medulla begins from, from the foramen cecum. The foramen cecum is a small triangular area which is present on the lower part of pons. The anterior median fissure ends here. The anterior median fissure is nothing but a fold of pyometer of brain covering. It is also known as the ventromedian fissure. Similarly, the posterior median fissure or the sulcus is a groove on the dorsal aspect of medulla. It is also called as the dorsal median sulcus. It ends at the obex. The lower part of medulla consists of the pyramidal decussation. Coming to the internal cross sections, there are three levels which we will see one by one. Pyramidal or the motor decussation level is the lowermost section. This resembles the spinal cord. It consists of various nuclei, fasciculi and the tracts. Mostly the nuclei are all present in the grey matter and fasciculi and tracts arise from the white matter. About 75% of the pyramidal decussation fibers cross at this level. The direction of the fibers are laterally backwards. And then they descend down in the white column of the spinal cord. The other tracts seen at this level are the spinal tract of trigeminal nerve, the lateral spinal spinothalamic tract, the dorsal and ventral spinocerebellar tracts and the 11th nerve nuclei is also seen at this level. Here, the anterior horn is distinctly separated from the central grey matter. These tracts all together carry different types of fibers and helps in sensory and motor functions, also in reticular formation. This way you can draw in exams, but uh, to make it more presentable, label all the parts on any one side of the diagram and do not forget to draw an outline box. This is the sensory decussation level, which is the middle part. It also consists of various nuclei, fasciculi and tracts. Uh, previously, we saw the motor fibers decussation. And the direction was laterally and backwards and they descend down. Whereas in sensory decussation, the internal arcuate fibers uh, crosses medially and forwards. So here is the nucleus gracilis and cuneatus which have not yet entered the central grey matter. Now the central grey matter consists of the 10th, 12th, uh, nerve nucleus, cranial nerve nucleus and also the nucleus tractus solitarius. This is the medial longitudinal bundle. The medial longitudinal bundle is nothing but a composite tract of highly myelinated fibers which is situated in the paramedian plane. The fibers of the medial longitudinal bundle interconnects the nucleus of these uh, cranial nerves, these five cranial nerves. Its function is to coordinate the movements of eye, head and neck in response to the stimulation of vestibular cochlear nerve. 
So, the other tracts seen here are the lateral and anterior spinal lemniscus, uh, which is nothing but, uh, the lemniscus is nothing but a bundle of sensory nerve fibers in the brainstem. It terminates in the specific nucleus. So, this is how you will have to draw an exam, but a uh, little more presentable. The uppermost section is the mid olivary level, behind which the fourth ventricle is present. Identification of this section in histology is by the crumpled bag appearance of the inferior olivary nucleus. The grey matter consists of the 8th, 10th and the 12th nerve nucleus and the nucleus intercalatus. Uh, nucleus ambiguous is uh, nothing but... Uh, a structure which takes part in the reticular formation and in the paramedian area uh, from dorsal to ventral these tracts are seen the medial longitudinal bundle the tectospinal tract and the medial lemniscus also the pyramids are seen here um, the arcuate nucleus are just the extension of the pontine nucleus and this is the diagrammatic representation of the medulla oblongata for exam presentation. That is all about the medulla oblongata of brainstem. You can watch this video a couple of times for better understanding and you can post your doubts in the comments below. We will be happy to answer you. Tomorrow we shall continue with part 3 video of the brainstem which is the pons and the midbrain. Thank you.